Hey everybody, how we doing? This is Holly Mike at EPG Studios. Hope you're having a good one. Happy New Year's, by the way. Anyway, so this guy bought out the Dick Day Carry Odie's Pice issue. He me. Sorry in the club, she's trying to take me home. One thing to another, now she's trying to make me move. Can't give her my Cool up, Day K. Odis is now facing a lot of backlash for things like that. Okay. Now, we're not watching a Day K. Odie video, we are watching Goodwill, but um, 270 for that's like the price of a new one. Like, why would you buy for like the price of a uh, whatever? Anyway, guys, so let's dive right into it. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. This is Holly Mike. Let's go. In this video, we'll take an in depth look at it and see if it was worth the money. So it came in this it tiny little cardboard box. I think the console is actually complete in box. Yeah. We're about to find out. And I'll go ahead and tell you that the answer to my first question is no. This is not worth $274 because you can buy a brand new one for less than that now. See, that's right, what so I was just saying. Is. Okay. Got some random packaging. And yep, that's stuff in mine. And man, this thing fits perfect. So here's the Series S. And did they tape it up? on? Oh, they did tape it up on the side. It's classic. All right, let me uh, cut that tape. All right, there's some on the other side, but it already broke. Let's go ahead and open it up. The console or the box is actually not in too bad a condition and there it is wow it actually still has the original packaging for the most part let's go ahead and pull it out and oh it's got <laughs> they put the i guess they didn't realize the cardboard piece for the controller goes in there and not down here so they put it down there let's see if they actually included the controller all right there it is what really amazes me is the fact that somebody actually donated their, their pretty much brand new xbox series s to goodwill oh my god i guess there's people out there that do that but i just surprises me all right and here's a little this is the thing that wraps around the console. And of course we got a little manual down here. Yeah, a little quick start guide. And we should have some cords here if it's actually complete. And we do. So they're just bunched in here. We got an HDMI cable and a power cable, of course. And if we flip back to the front of the box, you'll notice there's a sticker here that says powers on. And that's because Goodwill has two different sections of untested stuff. They have truly untested, like never touched, never plugged in or anything. And then they have powers on, but untested because they'll basically plug it, plug it in and in, see if a light comes on, on and if so it's not powers on and honestly i think powers on but untested is even worse than just straight up untested because i bought a new 3ds excel from goodwill recently and they called it powers on and untested and because the lights came on but the screens never came on so the screens are broken just sketchy stuff but let's go ahead and take a look closer look at this console and see what they send us all right so they added a bunch of tape to this thing there we go all right cool here is the console it doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's got a, it's got a LeBron James sticker on the front. That's, okay, that's I, I, could I, I could go with that. I I can I could go with it. But uh, zoomed in here now. I can go with that. Button clicks that button clicks, and as you can see, got our pristine LeBron James sticker. Feels high quality. I don't know if it is or not. Now looking at the top, uh, doesn't look too bad. I think there's a little bit of yellowing, but you guys probably cannot see it because it's so faint. Now here on the back. Okay, I hate how some companies that don't know how to price consoles, they don't look at the actual market. Um, I've been to places, I've been to like this off brand like GameStop type, like type of store, like a family business, and they were charging for like NBA 2K19. They had like 40 bucks on it. And because, you know, they're thinking like, oh, because this is MPK, NBA 2K19, you know, they're thinking because it's the NBA game that that's appropriate price for them. Um, I don't think they're understanding that um, GameStop is not even GameStop is not even dumb enough to I mean to sell that for that. So I that's what I'm like. That's what I'm just a little concerned on the fact of that kind of things because even GameStop is not even gonna sell you something like that. So that's what I just don't quite understand. Um, so anyway, um. So let's let's finish watch. Uh, looks pretty good as well. I don't really see many scratches. The, I mean, the good thing about a white console is it's really hard to see scratches. Okay. So yeah. even if there yeah. are scratches, you just can't see them, you know, because it's a, a white, a matte white console. It's just it's it's nice. And flipping over to the bottom here, it looks good as well. Yeah. Don't see hardly any wear and tear. Yeah. So that's that's obviously a yeah. good thing to see, and actually surprising yeah. coming from Goodwill. Usually they have like a musty yeah. smell at least. Yeah. Now here's a controller, here's controller, and looking at the front, front looks pretty good. All the buttons are clicking. They actually left the batteries in here, which is the original batteries. Now looking at the back, looks pretty good as well. Uh, now we do have a little bit of uh, gamer juice in the, in, the, in the cracks here, which is basically, I guess, 
dead skin and whatever else are up in the cracks here so it's not too terrible like it's not on the xbox 360 level but it's uh it's, it's not the best either but yeah i mean this console looks promising so far let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it actually works all right so let's go ahead and turn on this xbox series s three two one we do have oh, it comes on. Sign. Okay, it comes so, on. So, at least, so at least it here. comes yeah, on. Somebody's profile is already on here, which is kind of what I expected coming from Goodwill. Uh, now, the interesting thing is the background is white, which I've never actually seen on on a uh, Xbox Series S before. But I guess it's an option. Now, let's go ahead and just select the profile that's here, and uh, we'll we'll see what's on this console. All right, so we got some games. We've got uh, Hello Neighbor Two. We got Car X Drift Racing Online, Watch Dogs Two, uh, NBA Two K Twenty Three, Secret Neighbor, Minecraft. Actually, let's go. Man, this this home screen hurts my eyes. It just doesn't look good. But we'll, we'll keep it authentic to the guy that, that had this. So Car X Drift Racing Online, Descenders, Xbox, or, uh, FIFA 22, Gang Beasts, Hello Neighbor 2, Madden 22, Watch Dogs 2, Secret Neighbor, NBA 2K23, and Minecraft. All right, cool, cool. Oh, we can see full library. I wonder if he's got some other... Uh, no, okay. Maybe we'll... We'll try to connect to the internet. Um, I'm not trying to... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll sign out of this guy's profile eventually because I'm not trying to, like take his info or anything but let's go ahead and see if it lets us log in all right we're finally back let's go ahead and sign into this guy's profile and see if we can actually log in now all right yeah so i want to put the password in which is a good thing good thing that microsoft makes you put a password in when you have to um i guess probably when i'm on it's very really hard to determine if his if his tv in the back is fake due to how clean his setup um, is you know here. all right so this is interesting when i boot up fifa it wants me to confirm the active profile and then i have to actually enter, enter the password in so it Boots up, but not all the way. I wonder if it's going to be like that for all the games here. What is going on with this? Like, I got this like major inception of menus right now. Let me go back to the main menu now. <laughs> so I keep trying to boot up games, and every single one of them needs needs an update. All right, here we go. Watch Dogs 2 doesn't need an update. So let's, uh, which makes sense because the game kind of came out a long time ago. But let's. Event uh, coming up between AJ. All right, yeah. So it looks like it's not going to let me play any of these games, <laughs> which makes sense. I'm glad. I'm glad Microsoft actually put these uh, precautions in place. But let's go ahead and, I guess, sign out of this guy's profile. And I'll go ahead and log into mine and see if it lets me play any of these games. All right, signed into my profile now. I'm going to go ahead and try to boot up. I should try FIFA again. Actually, Watch Dogs 2 is already booting up, so we'll try this now. So the Xbox is definitely working. I haven't had any graphical issues. No issues with the controller. Actually, let me go back to the settings and test the controller fully real quick. But I haven't had any issues so far. Dude, it just looks so weird using the Xbox menu with a white background. I guess it's just a just a setting for for dark versus light mode, but I think the dark mode is is infinitely better. But uh, yeah, it looks like everything is working. So nice. So the controller. I disagree controller with that Xbox statement. I like. Works. No, obviously this console costs more than a brand new one. I I honestly don't know why this one costs so much. Basically, on the Goodwill auction site, you bid against other people. So essentially, I was willing to pay two seventy four. Somebody else was willing to pay two seventy three, which is why I won it. So like, I I don't understand who is willing to pay two seventy three on a untested xbox series s i mean i buy it because i can make a video on it like this but I, I don't understand how a normal person is paying that much for a used console when you can buy it new for 250 i i don't understand but what i want to do next is open this console up see if it's ever had anything repaired inside or what kind of dust and dirt it's got see how much it's been used because honestly at this point it looks pretty clean i mean it's obviously been used some because we got some gunk in the uh, the cracks of the the controller but nothing too crazy so Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we got the Xbox. Let's go ahead and open it up. Fortunately, the Xbox Series S is actually very easy to open up. I've opened up a few of them. I need to remove this little flap here. Let me remove, remove a screw and then take the bottom panel off and it's open. All right, got those covers off. Let's go ahead and take out the screws now. And just by the way, since those uh, those flaps were still there up on top of the screws, I'm assuming this console has never been opened before, but it's still interesting to see like how much dust and dirt it has. Considering it came from Goodwill, I would expect there to be a, a pretty solid amount and the console is pretty hot right now, which makes sense since we just had it on. But it's especially right there where uh, your main heat comes from. But let's go ahead and take out. Then we gotta take out these. Uh, let's see the green screws, I believe. All right, now time for the big reveal. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh there we go. And there it is. Wow, it looks <laughs> pristine. Uh, looking at this piece, I don't see like any dust or dirt caked in there, unlike the consoles that come from GameStop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the fan. It was very nice. If, if this thing was really dusty and dirty, you would, you would see a lot of dirt in that fan, but I'm trying to shine it in the light, I just don't see like any dust or dirt. So this console was probably barely used at all. Uh, I mean, like it, it just makes me question, how did this end up at Goodwill? I, I try to run through the scenarios in my head and just try to figure it out, but you got to make scenarios up because you don't really know what happened. My assumption is that it's probably based on the games he's playing. It's probably some 
you know, a fairly young kid uh, that, like, maybe his mom got mad at him for playing Xbox too much and was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of your Xbox and just takes it to Goodwill. And uh, considering the fact that I can't log into his profile anymore, he probably has a new Xbox that maybe he bought or his mom bought him. I, I don't know. It's, it's always just interesting thinking about how this stuff makes it to Goodwill because I, frankly, I don't know and I'll, I'll never know, but um, just interesting to think about. So let me know down below what you think about this console. I'm going to list it on my website for a, a reasonable price, not $274. So check that out if you want to buy one. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Okay, guys, so I would like to say here is that um, I agree, like, whoever spent that amount of money on a used thing like that, it was completely wasteful, you know? And I'm just like, well, you know, if you choose to do it that way, then you just choose to do it that way. But I, I was just like, but as you said, it was clean. And it was weird. Like, why would you have a new console like that, untouched and that kind of stuff? But anyway, guys, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.